Hi everyone, I'm Shaylin here with Readsy. So today we're going to be talking about how to proofread your manuscript. Proofreading is the final type of editing that a piece will go through. It focuses on micro edits and any final corrections to grammar, spelling, punctuation, consistency, or formatting. And in some cases, it can also include a fact check. Because proofreading focuses on just the tiniest of errors, it's going to come at the very end of a book's editorial process. The plot, story, and characters, and the line level writing need to be completely set in place before you go in with a proofread to comb for any lingering errors. The book should have already gone through a developmental edit, to make any large-scale edits to the story, plot, and characters, and a copy edit to fine-tune the line-level writing before going in with a proofread. Essentially, with a proofread, you're just going through the manuscript with a fine-tooth comb to really polish any lingering errors. Proofreading is an important step in creating a finished, polished manuscript. It's natural for errors and typos to be missed, especially when you're dealing with more large-scale edits, and a lot of little errors can be introduced in the copy editing stage or even during formatting. So proofreading ensures that you catch any lingering errors and are putting out a really polished final book. So should you proofread or should you hire a professional? If you're polishing your own manuscript in order to, say, query it or to go on submission, you may be doing the proofreading yourself. Then you'll probably go on to do more large-scale edits with your agent or editor, and then after all of that, before it goes to publication, the book will go to a proofreader. But if you're self-publishing, you'll want to hire a proofreader. Even if you have proofreading experience yourself, it's very easy to miss mistakes in your own manuscript. I find proofreading my own work very, very difficult because I'm so familiar with the words that I kind of just glaze over them and miss a lot of little errors. Proofreading is a skill and one that takes a lot of practice, and a professional proofreader will do the following. Correct spelling, grammar, and punctuation errors. Look for consistency issues. Ensure any web links in the ebook go to the correct page. Check that the index matches the content. Find any errors in layout or formatting. Make sure images have the correct captions. And verify that the copy adheres to the chosen style guide. So it's a lot more than just combing for typos. It's actually quite an intricate skill set that looks for a lot of different types of mistakes. Now, a proofreader won't copy edit, so they're not going to make any changes to your line. Your sentence structure or even really your word choice. Their job is to note any lingering errors in the final formatted version of the manuscript, allowing the writer or editor to make the final decision when they receive the proofread copy back. In traditional publishing, every single book will be proofread. You probably have found typos in published books before. You know, proofreading is not an unfailable process and there still can be a typo or two that slip through the cracks, but it's not a super common occurrence. As a result, if you're self-publishing, proofreading is really important in order to match that level of professionalism. A lot of indie authors to save costs try to proofread themselves, but but if you're very familiar with the manuscript, which you probably are because it's your own manuscript, it's really easy to miss things. And you may not have experience with things like style guides, formatting, or indexing, which are also important parts of proofreading. However, if you are on a tight budget, proofreading is the best editorial step to DIY. It is really important to get a solid developmental edit and copy edit. So if you have to pick, those are the ones that you should invest in. However, that's not to undersell the importance of proofreading, and proofreading is typically the least expensive type of editing service. So if you're investing in creating a polished final book that matches the professionalism of a traditionally published book, proofreading is an important step. Proofreading services on average cost about $10 per thousand word, but the final rate does depend on a lot of factors. For example, some proofreading jobs are a lot more complex. If you're writing a nonfiction book with really complex indexing, that can raise the costs. Or proofreaders who are taking on really detailed fact-checking work, such as for a historical book, may also charge more given the extra work and expertise that that requires. If you're looking to hire a proofreader, you can find vetted and experienced proofreaders along with developmental and copy editors on the Readsy Marketplace, which makes finding a proofreader so much easier. The Readsy Marketplace also makes it easy to filter by genre, so you can find a proofreader who suits your manuscript's specific needs. If you're looking for a proofreader, you can find more information linked in the description. So what about if you're taking on the task of proofreading yourself? Maybe you're on a very tight budget, maybe you're proofreading for a friend, Maybe you're working on a shorter piece, or maybe you're proofreading your book in order to prepare it to query. Here are a few tips. First of all, know your bad habits. Is there often a word that you misspell or misuse? Are you prone to comma splices or misplace modifiers? What are your weasel words? Start by doing a sweep for your specific bad habits. I always mix up lay versus lie. It's just one of those things that I never know and I always have to double check. So rather than stopping to check every time when I'm going in to do edits, I start by just doing a search for every lay and lie in my book and making sure that I'm using them correctly. The next tip is to read it out loud. It's very 
very easy to skim over mistakes if proofreading on a screen, especially if proofreading your own work. Because we're so familiar with our own work, we kind of start to memorize the sentences, we see the sentence and we basically know what follows. So try reading out loud or another method is to use text to speech software. This is a really great trick for catching typos. I'm notoriously bad at catching typos, but I started just using the text to speech function in Microsoft Word to catch any lingering typos. And I managed to catch a lot of errors that I would have otherwise missed. The next tip is to not try and do everything at once. You don't want to proofread by just doing one pass of the manuscript, trying to get everything right on one read. This is super labor intensive. There's so many things to be aware of and you're probably going to miss a lot. Do multiple proofreading rounds, each focused on a specific task. Don't look for spelling errors at the same time as fact checking. It's just way too much work and a lot will fall through the cracks if you try to take on everything at once. So instead do multiple specific passes rather than one really detailed proofreading pass. And finally, focus on the words, not the story. You've already done a developmental edit. This isn't the time to be paying attention to the story. Try to actively focus on the words themselves, not the story you're reading. If you start getting swept up in the story, you'll start to read too quickly, you'll start filling in the blanks, and you'll miss a lot of mistakes. One skill that proofreaders have is an ability to focus on the words rather than the story itself. This can be hard if it's your own work, but it's really important to avoid skipping over mistakes. So those are some tips for proofreading a book and to help you decide whether you should proofread yourself or hire a professional proofreader. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos from us. We've got new writing, editing, and publishing tips every Friday on this channel. Until next time, bye.